So anyway, our booth is together. We did that after the fact. So uh, uh, I'll go through us real quick. Uh, some of this might be the same, but I do have different pictures, I promise you. So onward. Okay. That's bad. Okay, so anyway, Partners Fish and Wildlife Program, Cindy's going to cover a lot of this, I'll swing through it really fast. We do provide technical and financial assistance, and we do uh, spend a lot of time with the technical part of it, because most, some landowners don't really, are interested in the financial part. Uh, we started in the Partners Fish and Wildlife Program back in 1990 in Oklahoma, and we started first with wetland restoration efforts only, okay? And then about in 19, the mid-1990s, we started doing native habitat restoration, and then um, we followed up with that with doing outdoor classrooms and stuff in public in the schools. Man, you know, I we was limited to three slides, so I thought it'd be smart and put a lot of animations in the slides. <laughs> it's not working out for me here. <laughs> so anyway, okay, so there's our outdoor classroom. We have a hundred and about 160 right now in the state. And you heard it in, uh, earlier in some of the other presentations in Oklahoma City and Tulsa. Uh, we encourage a lot of pollinator habitat over the last several years in that. And we reach a lot of school kids with that. So habitat restoration has been 430,000 acres on 1,274 projects. And our cooperators is very important, that private landowner up there. You know, Oklahoma, 97, 95% private ownership. So that's our most important partner that we reach. We also have other important partners, state and federal agencies. And just recently, the Native American tribes, we have 38 recognized, federally recognized tribes in Oklahoma. And some of these tribes are buying large, large ranches. Just recently in Osage County last year, a 45,000 acre ranch by Osage Nation. We're currently working with them as well. Prescribed fire, we like prescribed fire in Oklahoma. We do a lot of it. Um, Project implementation, Cindy touched a lot on this, is very easy. Most important thing about that is the on-site visit. It's getting out there, meeting that landowner, talking with him. You know, we, as a partners biologist, you know, we've been doing this for a long time, and you might go out there and think you'll know, spend a lot of time talking. You might get out there and be pulling a calf. Something might change. So, uh, you know, get that relationship built with that landowner, and you'll build that trust, and you'll be amazed of all the projects you'll work with him and his landowners and neighbors beyond that. So basically, to do that, do a site, determine the landlord's objectives, um, you know, develop an agreement, a plan, implement it, and then reimburse the project. Um, basically, behind the scenes, we have a lot of other stuff that we do as partners biologists, real fast, the National Environment Protection Act compliance, National Historical Preservation Act, Section 7, project ranking. And let's talk about project ranking. You know, we have a limited amount of funds every year, so we select those projects. Each year, each, every five years as a partner, as a partner's program, we look and we try to select sites in your state to, to, to reach landowners and use your funding. So we have three sites there in Oklahoma, Lesser Prairie Chicken, Kaimichi, Little River, and then in Karst area. This last little project, let's go back one if we can. Uh-oh. Okay, this last little project is with the Oklahoma Conservation Commission, is we have a uh, monarch focus area that we've used last couple of years in some of our funding. And you can see these sites. This is Lincoln County, kind of this right there along the I-35 corridor. And you can see the bottom part of that slide right there. It's, uh, you know, if you walk through this, you can't, basically. It's no production here for livestock, no production really for wildlife, uh, bare grounds, so a lot of issues here. We go in and uh, work with the producer. He hires a contractor. And this is a site a couple months after restoration if you will, uh, burn the brush piles, and you can see there's a green milkweed coming up right there. It's one of the projects. That's it, Don. Thank you. John.